Hello. Oh, what are you doing? Did you hear the voice just guys around it? Super sorry. You can hear me? Yeah. You, sound like, you sound like um Buffalo Bill or old man. Okay, uh does the pitch is the pitch good or should I make it higher? Is it too annoying? It's annoying. <laughs> yeah. Ew. I come from the land of the Irish Spring. Dublin's the place where I learned my thing. From the Emerald Isle to your place in the hood. I'm the man of green. Come to do no good. Come to do no good. Left in the hood. Come to do no good. Okay, so Dylan Moran is an is an Irish uh, stand up comedian whom I really like. You walked out again, you expect Oh, actually going with six or seven, six point seven or seven point six, just for about three seconds, but. Yeah. Yep. Here, just looking at him, looks like a head. Here. Big Robin Williams vibes, <laughs> with more of an English rocker hair. Yeah. And skinnier. Sloppy. Now this is not nostalgia. I have no time for nostalgia. All those rubbish people going two dollars for a Mars bar. I remember when. What? What do you remember? Fucking slavery. Shut up. <laughs> When children had to live underground, turning the big wheels. No, I'm just talking about a different time. This is when a, when a man would receive a, a phone call in a pub on a landline. And it would be for him. Men died in pubs, sometimes on the phone, frequently with a large ham under their arm. Subject he knew nothing about as a point of honor. And to emphasize his position, he would take off his hat so you would see his comb over, which was nothing to be ashamed of. It might ride in the breeze like a cobra or a live cable, but it belonged to him. Or he might have that very, that haircut you don't see anymore, the very, very thin white hair that you can see through to the flock wallpaper at the back of the man. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I can't tell if it's six wing seven or seven wing six, but... He's got like that screaming head type. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. show you. Uh, this is like his. I'm showing you like a preview of his humor style, and then I'm gonna show you interviews. This was also in the time when a woman. I am talking about a real woman here. Had a vanity table in the bedroom to have somewhere, somewhere to sit and weep. <laughs> I've got all the terrible things done to her by men. Because that women is not woke, don't worry. <laughs> short, medium, long, they've got it all. A woman remembers something you said 17 years ago. And the way you looked at her just now. And to aid that memory, the woman would open a hat box full of precious things. A curly whirly wrapper that meant so much. <laughs> A bundle of ladders too painful to look at or throw away. <laughs> they have to be kept so they can never be looked at. Hi. Hi. A nine speed jewel shaft, triple action. Yeah. No, that's a different time. A different time. What's that? Women, remember, this is why we have a civilization. A woman looks at a man and says, you tried that yesterday, it didn't work then either. <laughs> Men do not have memories. Every woman is an individual walking time capsule. <laughs> Men don't know anything. Men don't know when their lives became so terribly awful. When everybody else- Yeah, you can, you know what, just keep it running. We'll, st we'll stop at like uh, five minutes. And then I'm definitely be thinking this is more six wing seven over seven. Yeah. Sexual blind. 
I was looking like wondering about like social self prez six wing seven. Yeah. It's like so I'm thinking go wing five. Yeah, I think six wing seven too. Oh, you think going so five? Now, um, I'll, uh, maybe I think when we sh- when I show their other interviews, maybe it will like okay. he will like seem way more with- withdrawn, like when he's not drunk, probably because he I think he always does his sketches while being drunk. He's a fucking Irishman. Of course, of course he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess we have a minute. It would be after. unacceptable if he did. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, we can do the re- the remaining minute, I guess, because it's only one minute. Man does not know how he came by the half a pie he is holding in his hand. And scientists, those frauds, seize on this and try and use it as proof of the mysteries of human consciousness and the unknowable nature of the brain, which is rubbish. The brain is the simplest organ in the body. It only has three bits. Is the front bit, which is the bit you scratch when you come in at half one in the morning, and the person you live with says, Where the fuck are you? The middle bit, which tries to come up with the excuse, and the back bit, which plays the last song that was on in the pub. <laughs> I was with Ralph, you know Ralph, he smells his good number. You can move it, you can check it, you can do what you can do. Is that the hook? Don't speak to me like that anyway. I got you a second present on the way home. Did you get me a present? Did you? Did you? You want some pie? I think that's it. Yeah. So he has this like, um, like um, free association kind of humor, like uh, um, absurd abstract knitting a ceiling cozy, polishing onions with your feet, half a pie, smelling of cucumber which is making me think, okay, maybe he is a six wing seven. But then the next video, which is, this is an interview with Conan O'Brien. I almost think he's like SP'd on though, because he won't stop talking about things. I think that's yeah. what I think, because I think I get bored, like no offense to your choice, but I think that's when I get bored is like SP comedians sometimes, they go on and on sometimes about things. And I'm just like, I don't know. self press things. <laughs> my, my favorite comedians is like the self press ones where they start talking about like like how they like have diarrhea every day and like stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah to be honest yeah I, i'm not a fan of slapstick stuff so we can jump to one minute and, and 25 seconds he's talking about booze here because you know it's uh the bane of every irishman as he said so i wonder one sorry 125 yeah we can just do that that's fine or I do wonder though, like, because I mean, obviously, people talk about things even if they're not as peed on. I'm just like wondering what the actual difference is. He is in his more in his other sketches. To be honest, he is talking about uh, like society and people. Okay. Like this one is more, but to me, this also feels social. Like he's talking about, uh, like when a man had a call at a pub. Like that seems very like, very a very specific concept. Like. Do you think he's your type twin? Not, no, not necessarily, but he's close enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you can play that one, I guess. Sorry, I muted you, Karen, because I could hear your like baby. <laughs> They're hanging the holiday, and then the other tradition <laughs> is you take your top off and you get onto a roof and you challenge whole population centers to a fight. Um, <laughs> and I didn't do that because I'm I'm having a holiday from booze. So, oh, how yes. long is your holiday from booze? Been? Well, I did dry January, which is a thing people do a lot uh, in Ireland and Britain, and uh, I lost 485 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so I thought I'd better. I might yeah, you look better, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I thought I might see what happened in February. Is that really, is that really quite popular that people do a dry Yeah, it is. It's not a choice. People don't do it because they go, oh, this is a healthy lifestyle choice. They do it because they're about to die. Yeah. And um, <laughs> that's how people make those choices. They do it against their will. Um, Are you finding that with, without drinking in your life, do you feel like there's more you can accomplish, there's more you can do? No, there's certainly more I can experience because days are so incredibly long 385,000 hours in a day without There's alcohol. not 385,000 hours there is. <laughs> you can check <laughs> it's great it's, it's, it's great if you're a fan of you uh-huh if right. you're a fan of yourself yeah because you get to have 
much more uninterrupted time of your own consciousness. Yes. But I find that gets a bit wearisome after about hour 389. Yeah. Um, but it does maybe explain why Trump is famously teetotal. Yeah. There's a guy who loves him. He so likes to be with him. He wants to spend more time with Donald. You and think that that's you think Donald Trump away. doesn't drink yes, because he wants I more do. alone time with himself. That's right. He wants a concentrated experience of pure Trumposity, so he doesn't. <laughs> okay, we're done. I think this is enough. That was funny. I that does make me think. I do think he's six wing seven over six wing five, but I don't mm -hmm. know that I have any concrete. And I think like the only hmm, keep going. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say like I feel like his his he has this like. It, like very like withdrawn dead energy. So this is like when he was even younger, and this is like. Uh, interview with jonathan ross uh yeah so I i'm open to wing seven purely because of the the like kind of un unhinged uh whatever attitude and like um the, the humor style so this is yeah this is more again to sh see his like uh this is the last video i only have three so this is the last one you can look at photos of him too i mean i think he's oh yeah I think I think actually he has a so so my typing of him is a six nine four, uh probably what? SPSO yeah. He this that. guy's self is self like loathing. I, I don't know. He doesn't look at the photos like, like this. This is like, a scraggly man. Like where is it? I don't see a three fix for him at all. I he has like, this like droopy energy and like a lot of open self loathing. Uh, I don't. I don't see like shiny three fix. Yeah, I actually agree. I have to say, because I, I watched black books and stuff, and I don't know, he's not. And he said, yeah, yeah he said in the video that he actually he was in, he used his own life for black books, like parts of it was mm -hmm. like he wasn't acting. <laughs> That's just him. I feel like yeah. the self deprecation and the kind of messiness is just like you can just like give that to six core in general is like yeah, the six okay. roughiness. Um, even six wing five or six wing seven could just be like super like scruffy and messy. Um, I'm not seeing four fix in any way where he's trying to like other himself in some way or individualize yeah. himself. Okay, I do agree with Rachel though, because if you, I think like, I think Louis CK is like a six, nine, four, or six yeah months. really yeah, yeah and okay. he's like disgusting like he is <laughs> like his comedy i mean I, he's funny but he's like oh like my little dick and like just you know what i mean like he's just always like over yeah the top of is that four fix so though funny. like i i don't know like here i'm, I'm taking it more from like energetically as well uh but okay here here you can see more self like more disgust to jonathan like the host so yeah minute one uh one minute 30 seconds but uh there's a few things you can't do there or that you couldn't do there anyway when i was there like uh get a job <laughs> <laughs> it's different now like you know it's like the rest of europe it's like you got can't money. move for the english there now of course no you're all over there you know looking for uh yeah. And the Scottish people all moved to Poland. <laughs> Get something going. How confusing that would be for us. It's not, though. People always move around, yeah. you know. I mean, you're, you've, you're, you're in West London now. You came all the way from Villaricky or wherever you grew up. Villaricky? I don't know. It's some eel stall. <laughs> it's a commonwealth from the east end of London. Cockle hawker. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? I just made it up. I don't know. I've never hockled a cock in my life. Any <laughs> line of whelk flingers. <laughs> we did fling a whelk or two when I was a child. Uh, do you like seafood? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Have you ever had uh, eel and mash from a proper pie and eel shop? I have, but without the eel. Well, that's <laughs> hardly worth See, mentioning. It's as, as recipes go, you know. Thing and mash, fine. <laughs> what is the thing? It's an eel. Um, I'm walking. Thank you. We've mentioned potatoes there indirectly. You brought it up, Jonathan. And it's one of the things that people, when they think of Irish people, they often feel, can I mention potatoes? Shanti, so you see four fix too? Um, yeah, I don't know. But if I, I just watched Black Books and he's like so fucking, I don't know. 
I feel like people want to attribute the same personality to every Irish guy they meet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> am I doing that? I don't know. A lot no, of no, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking about just this interview. Oh, yeah, but they talk about it. He's like, uh, uh, do people stereotype you? Or do they want you to like come out wearing a little green hat? He mentions that. Okay. Yeah, so here he, like, I think this is, like, a, a dark, kind of a dark whatever moment. But I guess that could just be six. <coughs> this is, yeah, this is my hobby. <laughs> uh, so, you don't, so what do you do with, I mean, no disrespect, but you obviously work on your comedy and you want, oh, how do you feel your day then? That is a very personal question. Well, this is a chat show. You mean to open up? <laughs> no, what I mean, I mean, I mean, it's an amazing. Part. How do you fill your day? How does anybody fill their day? I think the truth is, you fill your day most of the time by, by being in the washing machine of your own mind, thinking, "What's this? When does it stop? Am I enjoying it? I don't know. Oh, it's time to go to sleep. I can't. I'm worried." And then, <laughs> and then you wake up and you smear jam over your family's face on your own. <laughs> So now we know how you feel your time. Yes. Yeah. Was that so difficult to open up? No, but uh, I, obviously at times it's an enormous pleasure to be alive. Can I ask you something, Gil? Yes. Do you have a stylist? <laughs> I have many, many. Do you think this is the work of one person? <laughs> okay, so uh, I have a little right. a bit in the middle to show that he does not have sexual. I don't think he has sexual. I think his SPSO maybe, most likely. Okay, okay, my guess, my guess, six wing seven, nine wing one, three wing four. <laughs> I don't know how the stacking right now, but I'm gonna just say social self friends. Okay. Well, so that's my exact same type, wow. Or not almost my exact same type. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I actually agree with Rachel because. I think yeah. yeah. I think all of this like negativity is just six. Like it's yeah. just. I Even feel like if he was. Is more negative than this. Yeah. Like... Wait, who is? <laughs> Steven, my husband. Oh, Steven. I was thinking like if he's social dom and three fix, he would be much more sparkly and like, mm. like presentable mm. and kind of uh, like self-conscious of what he says. But I feel like he's, he has this like sloppiness. I can give him yeah. self prize. He he does kind of remind me of Stephen a little bit. Not because he's Irish. Press <laughs> <laughs> doms can be real slot bags though, too, you know. And he yeah. seems withdrawn. He, there's a wall. He's not he's not open. Oh, he seems no. really friendly to me. Am I totally yeah. wrong? He seems simply and like receptive. But also, like he's like I... ready to go home and go to sleep. Like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, and drink. I'll go social then yes yeah, social i'm mad that you you guys don't see a, a four fix anyways you can yeah let's just watch the last minute of this uh because how old are you dylan do you want me to ask you i'm 35 35 you wouldn't think he's 35 he's somewhat disheveled let's face it a bit frayed and rough around the edges but i have it on very good authority he's very attractive to the women and not in my area i don't know my daughter and her friends went to see you live and they came out and said he is and this is the actual phrase they used bear nang <laughs> Do I, what is that? Are you not up to date with the kids? No, page? I don't. I wish I did. Some of it sounds great. Do you have a, a do you engage with the modern world, Mike? No, I don't. I don't I will, I'm very interested in the idea of trying to be up to speed with. Do you have a mobile Even phone? Even using the phrase up to speed, I think it's kind <laughs> yeah. of impressive. Uh, do you text people? Oh, I can text, yeah. But do you use a satellite navigation system? I can't drive, so I, I don't. Okay, this is all boring, but I just wanted a bit about women. What about I've you? never been that drunk. Oh, Nigella Lawson is so hot. Are you walking out? Please yes. turn left ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, he actually doesn't drive. That does make me lean to four. Oh, yeah. Because... I wanted to tell you that part, too. Good thing that it, we, we saw it, because I completely forgot about it. Yeah, it made me think the same thing. I'm like, oh, seven and four influence. <laughs> I feel like none of, I feel like Noah's drive, but I could be wrong. Not driving. Not well, also, I think about where he lives and how, like, public transportation is, like, very popular. That's okay. true, yeah. A lot of people don't drive their entire lives. Um, yeah, yeah, good point. You're a uh, superior European public transit that makes uh, American transit system uh, yeah. look, like sh look like choice. Short, yeah. I feel like whiny tears when I'm like kind of thinking of six four whiny tears 
and whatever it's like it's just so much negativity like I think Rachel already said but it's just like and kind of like droopy kind of nasty like he's definitely got like a droopy <laughs> thing but it's almost like I wonder just being like the Irish man <laughs> six Irish man or something <laughs> Not like your 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 guy's not droopy, Rachel. Mm. <laughs> not droopy, but he is disheveled. Mm. Yeah, he's disheveled. <laughs> kind of a look of unkept. Like I don't know if you guys are gonna pass out or whatever, but we could compare him to some whiny tears. Six. Yeah. C, maybe. Great idea. I am probably going to sleep now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sit here until my laptop dies. So, well, do, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Louis C.K. is a six nine four? I don't know who that is. You don't know Louis C.K. You probably do. You probably, I probably do. do. Maybe, but I mean, is he like an author? No, stand up comedian. The ginger bald, always uh, <laughs> big belly, always makes fun of himself, and was accused of like uh, being a. Uh, whatever inappropriate with women surprise surprise oh surprise i mean but i I see i wouldn't say louis ck is more negative i would say louis ck is just more uh oh i know this guy no he's not more (laughs) negative he's just more unashamed like he just talks about more gross stuff yeah but he doesn't have uh, like a negative uh, outlook to life i would say they have similar uh, levels of negativity in terms of outlook it's just like he's more unabashed about like the, the disgusting stuff he brings up and i and i and i wonder if that's the six though because one of my buddies who's uh six uh four nine like i'm positive spsx he's just disgusting like it <laughs> just i mean i love him but he's vile it's like just he's like he reminds me of louis ck and it's always like very self-deprecating and but it's like over the top self-deprecating it's like why are you telling me about like this problem in your dick or something like it's this kind of stuff <laughs> you guys see this guy as a four fix i think he's four fixed i haven't like tried to type him but i just assumed he was a whiny tears because he is the embodiment of a whiny guy like uh those are six men <laughs> yeah <laughs> well unless there's somebody else i think phil oaks is a six nine four but um but <laughs> yeah right, and Horace and a guy named pete and it's a bar that was opened in 1916 in brooklyn by two brothers horace and pete and uh they each had a son one named horace one named pete and they handed it to their sons horace and pete and so the idea is that this bar has been run oh always God, by this yes sp dom confirmed i don't is there anything in here that <laughs> god maybe i'm wrong i don't know if if I was transgender, wouldn't that mean I am a woman? Aren't we all saying that when someone becomes trans? God, I really fucked this up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just watch more Dylan Moran. <laughs> no. No. That's all I do. Hello. <laughs> so, how is everybody? Good. I don't really care, but at least you, at least you try to be honest and tell me, because a, a lot of the time people lie, you know, about that kind of stuff. You know, when you meet somebody in the street and you go, "Hi, how are you doing?" and they say, oh, "I'm fine." How are you? And you say, oh, "I'm fine," and then you say, "See you." Because <laughs> you can't really be fucked with human communication most of the time. And then if you tell people the truth, they often get upset because if you meet somebody and they go, "How are you going? How, how are you doing?" and you say, "Oh, I'm terrible. I have piled." <laughs> skin is falling off in huge lumps I, I, I live with an old woman I don't really know on the ground and uh, we suck stones for money I, I have an incredibly rare leg disease and I, I, my incredible collection of bonsai trees was wiped out today everything is unbelievably shit and I want to die <laughs> I mean that does kind of fit into that category of what I was trying to say for whiny tears comedy Maybe he's four fixed. He's like four last. Like he's not, he's a six nine for sure. I'm and probably think- nine wing eight as well. I don't know if nine wing eight or nine wing one. He's like. Probably nine wing eight because he's like, he, he, he doesn't seem like someone who's like 
wanting to be the bigger person because he kept telling Jonathan like, oh, if we can fight about it, let's fight. But that's again, this could be six reactivity as well. What would they say? You know, they'll, they'll just go, ah, okay, see ya. You know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, some of you, some of you, I see some of you are, are young people. You sneak, snuck in here tonight, young people. And I must say, I, I don't like you because I'm supposed to be sort of, supposed to be sort of young. And I don't like young people. You know, they're icky and they, they run around too quickly. I don't. <laughs> And they, they, they are, I don't really understand the culture either because young people go to these rave things, you know, this boof, 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 boof. There's music, apparently, there's music to me, it sounds like a lot of people putting up shelves. And they go and they, and they dance for eight or ten days at a time without speaking, you know, and they perspire five times their own body weight, and then they go home alone because they're too fucked to do in the air. So, you know, when I was growing up, it was a social thing. You would get into your van, very, very drunk, find most of your friends by knocking them down. Then you put them in the back and go and look for the local dance, which is behind a tree or a wall. And you go in there and go up to the nearest woman, and if she's not cross-eyed, you vomit on her. And then she see what's for life. It's kind of a ritual. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, funnier when he's younger. Um, <laughs> maybe he's four when three last. It's weird, because he kind of does give a different impression when he's younger. Where I could almost see social separation. <laughs> the one, the one I uh, showed you, he was a bit yelly, like uh, and like gruff. Uh, but there are there are like uh, older ones of him. Sorry, not older ones when he was older that are like kind of mellow, like this one. Yeah, because he does have a more schlubby, droopy kind of thing going on. Here. I was thinking Wing 7, again, because of the humor style, like this abstract, absurd thing. No, sorry, not abstract, like uh, kind of like introverted intuition, extroverted intuition, this kind of like random references, uh, smearing jam. Uh, I have my skin is falling in lumps. Like that feels like a 7-ish kind of like uh, random humor style. Yeah. I think 5 might might be uh, like uh, George Carl. Wait, George Carlin, right? He's a six wing five. Oh, okay. And and his humor isn't. He, it seems more like um, about like very specific perceptions of like humanity. Oh, that's it's a good not like. Point. Yeah, if he was a six wing yeah. five, was nine and four, he'd probably be like very much social critic kind of. Yeah, he he's like that, but it's but it kind of like he skims the surface he doesn't like re go that deep down or it's like more again he's jumping around with like random references but again i was thinking wing five because of him being very withdrawn like and droopy but i think if he has a four fix and is uh spso i think that could be enough yeah yeah that might be what he is i find it really hard to tell social self present spso apart if they're sort of straddling that line um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah, I think actually SPSO are kind of more sloppy looking people, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's. He so doesn't have the light, you know? He, like, I think social doms have this, like, brightness. Yeah, and he does have, like, a little sparkle, but it could just be being a six or like a little curiosity in his eyes, kind of like the. Yeah, that's like the Irish, the the twinkly blue Irish eyes. <laughs> Looks like a little uh, imp. Whatever. Yeah, he could be Leprechaun. six nine four. He could be six nine four. He looks cute here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he has more of a six nine four face than a six nine three. Just like a little. He has like a little disgust. Like li look at his lips. Like <laughs> it could be it could be anatomical, but no, he looks like repulsed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. He is. God, he looks so Irish. Like the little upturned nose and like upside down mouth and the twinkly blue eyes, like. How stereotypical. And I guess like SPSO is probably going to be the least exciting of the whitey tears traffic. So it's probably going to seem the most normal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Maybe even more than nine. Yeah, because nines are still a bit 
freaky sometimes. Ugh. Look, he's doing, see, he's doing gross stuff like Louis C.K. Like, yeah. Yeah, and I do feel like Louis C.K. is a 694. I just picked like a really bad uh, interview to look at. But, and that also points to SP Dom. It's like kind of dry, you know? I think like his comedy is not what that interview was. Although I feel very dry right now myself. <laughs> Wait, what is this quote? There was a quote by him. If we scroll a little bit up. People will kill you over time and how they kill you is with tiny harmless phrases like be realistic. Yeah. <laughs> that, that feels seven-ish. That feels seven-ish. <laughs> so six, maybe six wing seven. But I, yeah. Because it's the six is telling you to be realistic. <laughs> He's like projecting like six does yeah there's another really big quote under it too yeah oh it's the same one. Oh god it's just the same one over no there was another one i don't know where it went try uh try clicking on you see it yeah that one i don't mind most religious people i talk to them i listen to them you know banging on i prayed very hard and then the fairy came did he good have a biscuit (laughs) i only get annoyed when they try and make me see the fairy you have to let the fairy into your heart. Look, I wouldn't let him into my garden, okay? I'd shoot him on sight if he existed, which he doesn't. Now have another bicky and be quiet, will you please? Okay, on that note, uh, there's a sketch. Uh, if you go to YouTube, it's called... Uh... <laughs> I have to that if I do. <laughs> and I think sometimes I'd love to be like you. Cool and calm and unemotional. Protestant in short. <laughs> It's, it's a fantastic religion. It makes absolutely no demands upon you at all, which is why it's not a great religion. All great religions are built on shame. You don't have any of that as a Protestant. You go to the church, sing a few hymns, have a cup of tea, everybody goes home and has a wank. <laughs> you see, you have the freedom of mind to walk into a room and see a, a plate of biscuits, say. And you look at them and you think, well, there's a plate of biscuits. I might have a biscuit, I might not, I might have one later. I might put it in my pocket and give it to somebody else. I don't really mind, it's just a biggie. <laughs> it's not like that if you're Catholic. You walk in the room, you see the plate of biscuits, there could be other things going on in the room. The room could be on fire. It could be full of naked clowns killing each other with crossbows. This doesn't matter to you because all you see is the plate of biscuits. Because you think, oh no, I'm going to eat them. I know I am. I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat them all. Oh no, I know I am. I'm even walking towards them. I wasn't aware of that, but I am now. I've actually started to eat the biscuits. Help me, help me. Oh, they're delicious. Oh, the shame. The shame. The shame. Oh, I can't tell which is nicer. The biscuits. <laughs> that weirdly does remind me of my whiny dearest friend. He literally eats like buckets of like fucking cake icing or some shit. <laughs> the last bit he said was like, I don't know what's more delicious, the biscuits or the shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe you're right. I'm still like not 100% solid, but oh, oops, what the fuck? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Is this him? Do you know is he an artist too? Oh shoot, I did not look at that. I think there's a chance that the drawings behind him are actually his, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh he has those white uh oh he's artist. Oh, okay, comedian, writer, actor, artist, and poet. That does kind of make me lean four picks just because. Can you maybe try going to the his official website? Because I've never checked that actually. The first one, yeah, he has his drawings on. Wow. What about gallery? Oh, this is him. No, for the, the website has a tab called gallery. Maybe that has his drawings. Oh, well, he has drawings here too. Oh, yeah, this is starting to look social self res Or forfix, like the, the ugly kind of grotesque faces. Yeah. Yeah, could be. Wow, I never looked at his art before. Yeah, I definitely think he has a four fix now. Yeah, oh my god, those faces. Yeah, no, that's uh that's like crying fa- like contorted, ugly. Look at this dog, wow. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't have a signature. 
per se. Like some of the stuff overlap, but he doesn't have like uh I think because he isn't hundred percent serious, you know. Yeah, he does not like Trump. Classic six. <laughs> <laughs> Important poem. Oh, cities of miniature disaster. Oh, secret society of cheese. Oh, eminence and rebarbative alabaster. Oh, the price of a quality sneeze. Numinous crudities, adamantine toss, sausages boasting of just who is boss. Bits of old kittens, non-physical strings. Can you remember your favorite things? Yeah, I think he has a four fix. This is like, he's almost like a hot adjacent, like, because yeah. he's a six week seven. Yeah, yeah you know what? I see wing seven now because this is just this is just all over the place. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if he's even a four wing five heart fix. I don't know. I was thinking initially four wing five before you guys would like. <laughs> he doesn't get me hot in the crotch though, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Although his younger photos are hot, so kind of, but he looks like a bad time never looked up his wife can you say like his wife is elaine but i don't know if they're still married i want to see what they what kind of piece he got ah, he just got his wife a piece <laughs> what you could you could get him god you could have him he could be yours what a plain dull woman <laughs> God, I hate it when. Who else did I see recently that had like a plain ass wife? And I'm like, this. Oh, Tom Hardy, his wife. Oh my God, she's also an actress. Such a plain ass woman. Like, what is this? Anyways, what, what okay. Is Tom so Tom Hardy. I mean, sometimes. What was Tom Hardy's type? Uh, he's an eight six three SPSO. It's the six, man. I think it's the six. Keeps you in relationships with the with with the undesirable people. Keeps you aiming down. Keeps you no because well, this is again. I I need to be understanding. This is my perception of her. He she, he could find her extremely hot. She she was probably pretty when she was younger. She's got like a pleasant face. Yeah, no, I'm not even saying like she's unattractive. There's just a certain plainness oh, that I recognize in people. Pretty. There. but i mean i guess he is plain as hell as well so well here's the thing too about a four fix so i think the four fix can go i'm just making this up can go in either direction where they either want somebody who's gonna like really like stand out with them or they maybe want to be the star of the show or though i guess i could see like a three wing four or three being like that too yeah yeah i mean who knows maybe she has like I mean, he, he wasn't famous all his life. Like, I'm just being uh, kind of uh, bratty here. Like, he's he's a normal guy. She's a normal gal, whatever. You're feverishly jealous. Ugh. Well, they're divorced. You should DM him. I like your <laughs> comedy special. Well, that's too, uh, too late now. I like now. your art. Well, you draw me. Oh, let's see that. What did you say? This much I know. It is 2021. <laughs> I'm next year. I'm going on the road again and doing a show. The show is called We Got This. Oh, he's making fun of the um, like the Vax thing. Like, we got of, this. Take your three doses. Do you think do you think he's making fun of it? Or do you think he's like a like a six and he's like, we've got this? Yeah, I hope it's not. I feel like he's doing this sarcastically. I hope to God. Maybe him and his wife broke up over vaccines then. <laughs> <laughs> makes <him> hotter <laughs> what what's up is wait is trump being born out of a oh my god oh my god and his tie is like ugh. i have like no respect for anyone who got consumed by trump derangement syndrome but the thing is like trump is is will be attractive to comedians like i mean why how can he not like he might not necessarily hate hate him like politically, but he's just ripe material for humor. Trump is funnier than most of the comedians that make fun of him, though. So that's the sad part. <laughs> <laughs> his like tweets were gold, and his new things that he posts, he posts on Telegram, he posts on Facebook. 
was it truth social or whatever <laughs> pretty funny uh -huh. i i don't i don't like i have neutral feelings about him i just think he's hilarious but yeah. okay so what's what's your what's the typing that you uh six wing seven nine wing eight could be one i don't know and yeah. uh the nine is hard like like for example i see the nine wing one in me strongly because i thought i had the one fix at some point i have like extra super ego and i have like this okay no i'll be the better person even when i'm like feeling really angry i don't know i don't know if he's uh he I, he seems more like nine wing maybe nine wing one and then four wing five yeah i think nine wing one because uh then if he's spso like accounts for some of that critic kind of stuff um, yeah but he I, i'm trying to imagine him like a fight like he, he feels like he will be he, he'll kind of let it go he doesn't seem very combative uh and then four wing five just because of his style But I think I think that's like too, looking too much into it. Like I don't think we can figure out even the the wings for the fixes. Like that's uh, too ambitious. I think we can guess. I, yeah, I would guess six wing seven, nine wing one, four wing five. That I gives it like a seven one five uh kind of a uh, feel, which uh, like triple head, like all the heads are represented. Yeah. Uh, but I'm convinced. I think you guys uh, made me see six wing seven over wing five for sure. He also has uh he has this like fragile kind of could be the Ford as well. <laughs> you know like the like. who was saying like <laughs> Nine Wing Gwen is like gla glassy. He has this like kind of fra like soft boy. Maybe Nine Wing it will not be like that. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Could also just be because he's like a translucent skinned Irish man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like glass. I can see all of his veins. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I guess that's what happens when you're uh, uh, typing uh, British and Irish people. Sometimes you you gotta take the cultural nuance into consideration. <laughs> For example, all British people are are snobby. Does it mean that they have a forfix necessarily? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or like the gays, <laughs> they're not all four wing threes, uh, or four fixed. Uh, or like, uh, or like SLSX, because uh, I I I forgot who was telling me like, like oh my god, like not everything is SLSX because it like overlaps with like the ultra flamboyant kind of like drag style, whatever. Like that doesn't just automatically make it SLSX, but. Yeah. We can do this as a, a celebration of Irish people since Queen Elizabeth died. <laughs> so, okay, so since this is a celebration of Irish people, I'm gonna say, uh, "Erin go broch, Ireland will be free," and "Toke God Law," which is we will continue on. That's a motto for the IRA. Anyways, <laughs> well. I hate the royal family, so I'm pro whatever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> ramp yeah. up the extreme is and ramp up the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> come out, come out and fight me like a man. Joy, avoid, pow, you want to never fail the flowers. Now, I'll have the IRA later on, like hell away from the green and lovely lane.